Hi everyone, welcome to the lip book. If you are new here, hi, this is Atisha and today is my 23rd birthday and because we are still in all this craziness, there's not going to be a birthday party but just like last year, I thought I would do a mini photo shoot all by myself in my birthday outfit. So this is going to be a chatty get ready with me where I show you guys what makeup I'm going to wear and also my birthday outfit add in some jewelry pieces and uh, yes I'm also going to show, show some behind the scenes of the photo shoot so without further ado let's jump right in I just did a super relaxing skincare routine so my skin feels amazing and let's start with makeup now all the products I use will be mentioned in the description box so please don't forget to check that out so today is 28th of April the day I'm filming and I'm 23 now. If you think 13 is a weird number, try calling yourself 23. It is it just feels weird and I've been home for this entire year and the company I work for has declared a work from home till 2022 so there's another year that I'm going to stay home. Now last year I was super upset about um, the quarantine and everything and having to celebrate my birthday um without my friends because it was supposed to be my last birthday with my college friends but this year actually i'm super happy to be home and celebrating my birthday with my uh, mom and dad and also like yesterday night we had an early cake cutting sesh around 11 pm because they do sleep early my sister and her husband nan Bhaina, they are in netherlands they've moved there um so they were on video call and it was amazing we had a little cake cutting sesh some pictures we took and I personally love celebrating birthdays because this is literally your day you have all that extra love and attention and I, I just love that all the phone calls video calls gifts I'm going to show you some like this outfit my mom and dad gifted it to me and the makeup eyeshadow palette I'm going to use today that is from a very close college friend of mine so uh, yes the gifts the party sort of so i don't mind doing a photo shoot i do i did enjoy it last time and the pictures did turn out really great so i'm hoping for some this year as well by the way it's a miracle i have a birthday outfit today because we literally ordered this um about 10 days ago and it was supposed to reach around 25th but because everything is delayed all the um delivery services and everything now this is from mintra and it's a gift from my mom and dad i'll show you the outfit towards the end when i'm out and filming um so luckily just this morning this was delivered and we had ordered four uh sort of cloth clothing pieces and we got a trouser and um this top delivered and they match luckily and they fit they also fit we order a lot from mintra like seriously a lot so it's like they knew it's make or break we have to get this delivered i think for the past two or three years my birthday outfits have always been from mintra and also the outfits i wear on uh, my friends birthdays they're always from mintra i know their style really well the material the sizing and everything so this was a good thing that we ordered from there because it did reach on time and the fitting is perfect it's absolute perfection now the only problem is with this top it's fine i can wear any golden tone jewelry pieces but the trouser it's a really nice mauve cool tone trouser so i don't know if gold tones will look good with it we'll just have to try it out in front of the camera and see how it looks because obviously no real person is going to see me in this outfit so if it looks fine on uh, camera then i'm good to go one of my friends did not realize and asked how my first ever quarantine edition birthday is and i'm like bro i'm super experienced in this area and even if i wasn't doing a photo shoot i would have probably watched my favorite netflix show and chill out with my mom i am kind of running late because i do want this um like the lighting to be around the golden hour that is about a four to five so it's already 12 oh no it's i think it's one right now also i'm making this makeup um oh god i forgot to wear sunscreen under this oh how can i forget so I will be shooting quite a lot in the sun today. It's kind of a bummer that I forgot. 
uh, can't do anything about it though so do remember your spf guys it's super important i have not worn sunscreen for like 20 years of my life and i do regret it right now you might not like us as indians we think that sunscreen is only for tanning no it's not there's some serious skin reactions that you can get or pigmentation and uh, later on like as you grow older and your skin becomes thin you'll be able to see all the sun caused dark spots so yes if you want to prevent that start wearing spf now by the way do you guys get all excited for your birthday like i'm not the one who does countdowns and stuff but still if it's my birthday like today i took a leave from work and i'm at home even if i didn't do anything i would have probably taken a leave and just chilled out watch some netflix my favorite show watch some run bts episodes i'm still going to do that today later at night how did you guys celebrate your quarantine edition birthdays like did you guys get a birthday outfit like buy yourself a birthday outfit because i don't know how many um if you did get a chance to celebrate it with your friends i don't know if i would have gotten a birthday outfit for myself if i um wasn't going to do a photo shoot or wasn't going to film this video so i probably would have bought a lipstick or maybe eyeshadow palette but not clothes but my mom was super super upset as this did not come in and i did not have anything new to wear so i'm so glad that it did because more than me she was super upset so thank god for mintra just like last birthday i'm more interested in the food this year like there's an entire chocolate cake still in the fridge and i can smell chicken biryani and i'm so hungry also this morning we had chow mein which was delicious i'm pretty sure there's something great for snacks and dinner as well so can't wait now coming to the second birthday gift this is a nika gift box now this was a complete surprise i did not know that this was coming in this is from one of my closest friends from college and literally when i opened the box i screamed now this was a complete complete surprise this is the k by katrina uh eyeshadow palette it's in the shade pure bloom it's a beautiful peachy palette let me show you guys look at this gorgeousness it is that perfect peachy palette with this gorgeous coral shade and oh my god just look at this it's super reflective i will do a separate review uh, on this palette but i did want to use it on my birthday as well now another small problem here is this is a beautiful peachy warm tone palette and the outfit i'm wearing is kind of maroonish with cool toned uh, like the trouser is cool toned mauve so i'll have to find a middle ground i'm probably just going to play with the coral and brown shades and not touch the peachy shades i'll keep it for the review and also the shimmer shades so yes i did not know that i was going to wear this outfit so i thought i'll wear a white top and um add peachy tones on my face because i I'm, I'm loving peachy shades re recently she knew exactly what i'd love and thank you bangsheng now let's dive in so first i'm just placing this warm brown shade all over my crease now this is named biscuit which is so cute also i'm not sure if i'm going to add in falsies yet because if this was just a makeup look i would definitely have added in some false lashes but because it's a photo shoot and it kind of looks a bit extra when you wear fall season a photo shoot um, it's an outfit shoot not a makeup photo shoot so i'm kind of confused about that this is such a pretty coral shade honestly i could have used this as my blush as well I have placed this coral shade all over my lids and blended it out with that warm brown shade towards the crease and I think this is enough because it's a outdoor photo shoot. I don't want to go all ham on uh, the eye look because it's much better when you do intricate eye looks when it's for a makeup shoot and not for outfit shoots. So yes, I think I'm just going to keep it like this. Add some mascara, kajal and let's see if I want to do falsies after I'm done with mascara because maybe i won't need them also i'm going to add this peachy shimmer shade right on the centers of my lids to add that pop i'm just going to take it on my fingers and see that looks so pretty and also because there are these harsh lines i'm just going to go back in with that 
um, you can also take a clean brush or just the brush that I picked the peachy shade on and I'm just going to run it around now I'll just add some kajal mascara and be right back I think it looks good enough I don't need falsies what do you think this has clumped up here so we are almost done now for some highlighter I'm going to take it on a fan brush because I'm going to shoot in sunlight and golden hours so it looks really good when you have that popping highlighter on it captures really well in pictures for some inner corner highlight I wish these highlighters came with a mirror I wouldn't have to use my viewfinder as a mirror but I think that's enough for lipstick I'm a bit confused like you can see this top is a nice uh, maroonish red and the pants I have on are a mauve shade so I think I'm going to go with a maroon shade because that looks really good on my face and also mauve tone won't go with the peachy like it it did turn out peachy even though I've used coral shades I think it's because of the uh, shimmer shade that I put on at the end it does look like a peachy eye makeup look so I have this mauve shade which well you guys can't see the trousers that I'm wearing but yeah this won't go with the eye look and if you are here for the last um, birthday makeup look then you know that this shade is my favorite it's uh, the faces canada all time pro hd in the shade scandalous it's such a pretty shade and i think this will go with this look so let's put this on and see how it looks this lip shade matches really well with the top and with the eye look it doesn't look bad it is kind of peachy and this is maroon but still it kind of complements way better than the mauve shade would have so i'm going to stick with this and now let's move on to uh, some jewelry pieces because that is again something i'm super confused about if i didn't get this outfit at the last minute maybe i would have planned everything out but for now we'll have to go through a couple of options and see what looks best now with this top i have to wear a neck piece it looks really bland without anything on so uh, i was thinking about this choker but then with the wide neck it looks like it doesn't give much so i'm actually trying out some non uh, golden tone pieces but then i don't have any nice earring with it now this is way too long like it'll be somewhere here it's either of these two now this is something i bought from kolaba if you've watched that haul you know and it's really pretty it's just that i don't know if this goes with the outfit okay let's try this neck piece first so this is what it looks like now i couldn't put it on the last hook because it was quite a task um so this is how it's going to be now for earrings i do see that this gold tone doesn't match this one so i'll have to go with this now these are again uh, from kolaba and these are really really pretty okay so i think we are done i'm just going to leave my hair like this i'm really bad with hairstyles i don't want to try something and mess it up it's already been two and a half hour we have been here so let's just set my makeup and start with the photo shoot this has such a strong fragrance setting spray really melts everything in especially because i'm going to be out for quite a while and i already don't have a sunscreen on i don't want everything to just melt and finally this is the last finally my nail polish is from this brand named Douglas now I don't know if this is available in India because my sister got this when she was in Germany but if I do find a link on Nike or Amazon it will be in the description box so yes we are all set and thank you so much guys for watching and I'll take you to the behind the scenes but there'll be a lot of noise so I won't be talking so let's 
go i hope you enjoy now if you did please do uh, okay please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you're new here meet you in my next video till then bye okay wait for the behind the scenes after that bye 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 okay so climbing down these stairs with these okay nude pumps on and my tripod in one hand thank god i made it in one piece now let's set everything up these pink flower thingies they look so pretty i'll try to get these in some of the shots so this is my birthday outfit and i'm going to try and get some really good pictures on my own so my phone is set up on the tripod and i realized that this garage door color um, contrasts really well with the outfit so let's go so if you notice I've placed the camera at a lower angle about my waist height this gives a tall sort of illusion. Also I'm using the front camera to video record this and later on I'm going to go in and take some video captures. It is basically like screenshots but with better quality and because I'm video recording it and not taking pictures on my own this is going to give my body more movement and my hair it's going to look more natural like I can pick any pose that I want. So I'm just going to do this for about 3 to 5 minutes and now for the final shots.